Hey guys, I haven't shot too many videos of late. I just really haven't felt like filming anything. Um, but it's cleaning day and I'm working on getting that really good deep clean on these cages. So I thought I'd uh, get a few videos made here maybe. And I'm redoing uh, Jack the Ball Python's cage. He's going around checking out what I've done with it. He's had his soak and his cage is all clean. And I've had him on reptile bark forever, but I've decided I'm going to switch that out for the aspen bedding. Oh, he's giving us a little snake yawn. Anyway, like I was saying, I was going to uh, switch that out for the aspen bedding. I keep in my other cages. I didn't really have much reason for keeping him on reptile bark. When I got him, he you know, had that in his cage, and you know, it came with a bag of it, so I just kind of kept doing it. and Eventually decided I got tired of the extra mess it made, and the um, uh, the effort to get it all clean in the cage, and then you know he ended up getting some of it stuck in his mouth uh, when he was eating, and uh, it wasn't too much of a big deal. But I do want to avoid that. Um, don't really have any problems with the aspen bedding in the other cages, and haven't in years. So I think I'm just going to switch him over to that. Um, right now he's on paper towels temporarily, and that's fine for snakes. You know, snakes are really simple animals to take care of. They, uh, by and large, most of them, if you want to just use paper towels for bedding and, you know, a simple setup like this, they're fine with that. Um, you know, you have a few specialized ones that uh, are more advanced snakes in the hobby um, that might need something a little more extravagant. But, by and large, your snakes like ball pythons, king snakes, corn snakes, all those really don't need all that much. He's checking out his water dish now. Yes, I cleaned that too. It doesn't smell like you anymore. <laughs> anyway, paper towels are only temporary, bud. We're going to get you some new bedding to roll around in and tunnel in and all that good stuff. And I noticed without the bedding, that log was kind of rolling around. So I kind of tried to anchor it between the house and uh, the glass there. And we'll see how long it is before he's managed to pry those two things apart and do God knows what with it. You can actually see a little bit of his recent shed there on the log, a little piece there kind of close to the corner of it. I tried chiseling that off. It's just kind of stuck there. I'm noticing some smudges on the glass I need to get that I missed. All right. Well, I think we'll uh, call that a wrap for this video. Um, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Hope you enjoyed the video and Hopefully I'll have a few more up pretty soon.